This video will discuss the importance of tracking downtime in your operation, as well as an approach to downtime tracking using best practices and a commercial downtime tracking solution that leverages an investment in OSI Soft Pie. Two of the top business challenges that we hear a lot from our clients are increasing their efficiencies and decreasing their waste. How can they increase their efficiency, either by getting more production out of their existing processes or getting more out of their existing people? What can they do to decrease their waste, whether that's wasted time dealing with unplanned downtimes or better management of their process inputs and outputs? Having timely and accurate downtime data will help address these challenges, thereby leading to greater financial results. How will a downtime system actually help to address your business challenges? A good downtime system will provide you with the data to quantify your downtimes and the ability to add meaningful context around your downtimes. Having downtime events with the proper context allows you to concentrate your resources on eliminating the root cause of your top offending downtimes. Using downtime data to understand your asset health will allow you to do more preventative maintenance on these assets, thereby reducing your need for capital expenditures. With downtime data, you can see what your bottlenecks are in your process and allow you to adjust the process to make better use of your production inputs. A good downtime system should provide you with the data you need to make these decisions. The following are best practices for tracking downtime. It's important to have a standardized approach to data capture across your site to allow for better reporting. Having reason codes that are well-defined and meaningful, as well as a well-defined time usage model, will allow you to better drill in to the root causes of your downtimes. What KPIs do you need to manage your operation? Make sure they are well-defined and standardized across your operation. Downtime tracking needs to be implemented as a solution, making sure the proper time is spent up front to ensure all recommended best practices are considered. Now we want to talk to you today about a downtime tracking and KPI solution called RT Duet that was developed by RT Tech Software. The solution runs on top of OSI Soft Pi AF. One question we hear from prospective clients is why do I need to purchase a commercial solution? Can I just build my own? We feel that there are a number of reasons you'd want to consider a commercial solution over a homegrown solution. RT Duet is professionally developed and maintained and has been available since 2003. The driving force behind the software's growth over the years has been our clients and their experiences. The software is continually updated with new features and to keep current with OSI Soft Pi. We typically have a yearly major feature release driven primarily by feature requests from our clients. We have a dedicated support team that's available to provide technical support and assistance to our clients. Our solution allows for a rapid deployment that will result in quicker return on investment than if you were to try to build your own solution. RT Duet will allow you to take your plant data as represented in the left hand side of this slide and turn it into actionable AF event frames. Then using the RT Duet tools like the web interface that you see at the bottom right of the screen to add additional context to the downtime events. Now you have data that can be reported on and analyzed to help you better understand your downtimes. This is a high level diagram of the architecture of RT Duet. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, we have the field devices, PLCs, and sensors. These are connected through interfaces to OSI Soft Pi. RT Duet doesn't connect directly to any sensors. We let Pi look after that. RT Duet sits on top of Pi. Actually, the back end for RT Duet is OSI Soft AF. We have five components that get installed with RT Duet. The red ones are Windows services and run in the background. And the two green ones are applications that a user would interface with. The calculation engine is a service that is continually looking at Pi tags and using trigger logic to determine if something is in a downtime or a slowdown state. The KPI engine uses all the downtime events that were created by the calc engine and generates all your KPI numbers. We produce 16 KPIs right out of the box, but can configure the system to produce pretty much any custom KPI that you may need. The data sync engine takes all the RT Duet data that's stored in AF and syncs it out to SQL Server database. The toolkit is the application used to configure the system, such as reason tree, time usage model, and triggers. The web interface is the primary interface used by the majority of the users. It's where you would do all the event maintenance, as well as visualize your KPIs. Then we see that RT Duet data is synced to SQL Server, where you can use reporting tools such as Power BI, Tableau, or Excel to report on this data and possibly combine the RT Duet data 
with your other systems such as an ERP. Now I'll be taking you through some of the main features of RT Duet. The main operator interface for acknowledging and coding events is the event page. It allows the operator to easily identify new events and proceed to apply context to them using a standardized tree of reason codes. The associated time usage model allows you to classify each of the reason codes into a delay type, facilitating the generation of standard KPIs such as availability, utilization, operating efficiency, and more. Leveraging the power of the OSI Soft Pi system and event frames allows for the application of custom attributes to your events, giving you more context and ability to further analyze the events. The RT Duet website provides visualization of your downtime and KPI data. The report page allows you to see your top offending downtimes either by reason code or time usage code. The KPI page lets you deep dive into plant performance and offers a variety of reporting options, including a dashboard and the ability to visualize the trends. Lastly, the ease of data export allows you to interface the RT Duet data with other reporting platforms to generate advanced analytics and business intelligence. Here is an example of the RT Duet event page that is the primary user interface for the operators to identify and classify events. Across the top, you'll find the date time modifier as well as a trend showing when the slowdown and downtime events have occurred. Below, we have the events table. The various colors represent the different stages of validation. If desired, a validation process can be implemented allowing events to be edited by the operator and then validated by a supervisor. You'll see here the system automatically captures the start and end time of the event and calculates the duration. The reason and time usage code are either manually entered, which we'll see later, or auto-classified. Finally, on the end here, you will see two custom attributes, dollar cost and lost tons. These are calculations based on the duration of the event and the expected throughput at that time. This tries to more tangibly quantify the impact of these downtime events. Here we see an example of a reason code tree on the left and the corresponding time usage model on the right. The reason code tree is pre-configured to ensure a standard list of reasons are defined for the operator so as to ensure consistency between users. This eliminates the broken gearbox and gearbox broken type of reason from appearing in your reports. The reason code tree is customizable but usually arranged in a logical format similar to the plant layout to allow the operator to choose which asset area process caused the delay event to occur. As the operator chooses the reason code on the left, the corresponding time usage code is automatically selected. This means your operators don't need to worry about picking which category the downtime event should be placed in. These time usage codes are then used to generate the standard KPIs for your assets. Since RT Duet sits on top of the OSI Soft Pi system, we can leverage the power of Pi to gain more functionality out of RT Duet. Custom attributes allow for greater context to be applied to the downtime events by including other data from your Pi system. When reporting or analyzing the downtime data, the custom attributes enable you to further slice and dice the data to reveal true root causes of your downtime. Imagine answering questions such as, at what tonnage do we start to see more plug-ups? Which product specs generate the most operational delays? Does product type impact our MTBF? By including custom attributes from the Pi system into your downtime events, you can begin to start answering these questions. RT Duet can also take advantage of your Pi system data by using Pi tags to auto code your events. Through a series of logic statements, RT Duet can preload the reason code into the event frame if the data is available in Pi. This can significantly reduce the time and effort required to classify downtime events by your operators. Here we see an example of the Pareto report page. Across the top, you'll find the date time modifier, as well as filters, which allow you to control what data is displayed on the screen. You can drill in on a specific level of your reason tree or view all levels at once. Below that, we have the Pareto report. In this example, the chart is configured to display the top offending downtime reasons based on the duration of the downtimes. After the chart, you'll see that there is a list of reason codes, as well as the custom attributes we spoke about earlier. In this case, the page has been configured to display the custom attribute tons lost which is the total tons lost for each downtime reason code. The system can also be configured to change the chart display to not only filter by duration, but also by custom attribute. Here we see an example of one of the ways to visualize your KPIs. This is the KPI dashboard where you can view your KPIs such as availability, reliability, OEE, or any other KPI that the system has been configured to calculate. The gauges on the KPI dashboard are completely customizable and can be configured to display any of your KPI values. 
The dashboard is split into two sections. The left section will display KPI data for one specific KPI time set, which in this example is the daily KPI, but it could also display a specific hour, shift, day, week, month, or year. The right section of the dashboard displays multiple historic KPI values. Since you're not limited to only one KPI set, you can compare a daily KPI on the left and see your hour by hour on the right. Finally, we just wanted to touch on how easily the data in RT Duet can be exported to another program for advanced analytics or reporting. All the data generated by RT Duet is being stored in Microsoft SQL Server tables. So any application that can interface with Microsoft SQL Server can easily grab this data. As well, since RT Duet is fully integrated with the OSI Soft Pi system, we can leverage the Pi user tools to analyze or display data as well. This includes Pi Asset Framework, DataLink, Pi Vision, and Process Book. This slide shows the capture of event data within Excel and a resulting pivot table report that provides analysis of the offending downtime events. Here we have a little animation to visualize the event capture process. We have a process running and then a Pi tag indicates the process has stopped. The system records the stop time. Once the Pi tag indicates the process has started again, the runtime is recorded and the event is closed. This triggers the event to appear in the events page and allows the operator to classify it. Here we have a similar animation showing the slowdown event. In this case, we'll see the event is generated when the process throughput drops below the slowdown threshold. In this case, below 200. This will register a secondary event. The event duration is captured in the same way a primary or downtime event is captured. However, it also considers a rate loss in determining the weighted or equivalent duration. For instance, if the target rate was 400 tons per hour and the process produced 200 tons per hour for one hour, this would have the equivalent throughput impact of being down for 30 minutes. Thus, a weighted duration of 30 minutes will be accounted for for this slowdown event. This allows you to compare the impact of slowdown and downtime events against each other. Here we see the operator proceeding to classify the event. First, they find the event in question and select the Edit button. They can also just double-click on the row. This pops up the Edit window where the operator can start drilling down through the Reason Code tree to arrive at the appropriate classification. As you can see, once they select the Reason Code on the left, the Time Usage Code on the right is automatically selected. Once the Save button is clicked, the Event window closes and reveals a Reason Code and Time Usage Code applied to the event in the Event page. You'll also notice a row turn blue indicating the event has been edited. Custom attributes are automatically calculated, including without inter interaction from the operator. As mentioned earlier, RT Duet is best implemented through a solution approach, meaning we won't simply drop off the application and hope you'll figure it out. We take a four-step process to implementation, which we start with an upfront workshop to understand your specific requirements, define the time usage model and KPIs, build out the reason code tree, and define any custom reporting requirements. Based on the resulting configuration document, either remotely or on site, we perform the system installation and configuration. Finally, we'll come to site and perform a training session with the end users, who will be classifying events as well as extracting the data and performing the analysis. Additionally, three to six months after implementation, we facilitate a workshop to help analyze the data and identify some of the low-hanging fruit opportunities for asset improvement. As well, we will work with you to further refine the solution based on feedback from end users since implementation. Now I'd like to wrap things up and quickly summarize the benefits and advantages of using RT Duet for your downtime tracking and KPI generation. Our solution is built on top of OSI Soft Pi, so the data you're seeing is real time. RT Duet brings significant business benefits by allowing you to tackle your business challenges. Our solution approach allows for a structured implementation and a rapid payback. You will start seeing your downtime events as soon as the system is implemented. The data that we collect around downtime events gives you visibility into your processes and allows you to use business intelligence to improve these processes. Because we're tied to OSI Soft Pi, the data in RT Duet is accurate and your downtime events can be tracked to the second. As we mentioned earlier, we take a solution approach to implementation of RT Duet. We don't simply just hand you the software and let you figure it out. We will work with you every step of the way through the implementation. I know we've said this a few times, but we feel one of the biggest advantages is that we're leveraged to the power of Pi, and we provide you with more value for your investment in your Pi system. RT Duet is a professional software solution, 
We have a dedicated support team to assist our customers when they need it, as well as a dedicated development team that is continuing to advance the product forward. We also work with local integrators who can provide subject matter experts and integration services closer to your operation. Please visit our partner page to find integrators that could help you implement RT Duet. Please contact RT Tech Software if you'd like to further explore how RT Duet can be used to further your business goals. Mm -hmm.